<clears throat> hey, man, I don't. Hey, what's up? So, so what? What do you mean by like the perfect God made you sin? Made you to sin? Um, if God is perfect, then He made you the way that you are. He only makes perfect things, right? If God is perfect, He only makes perfect things. Um, I would say that He made you uh, perfect. Yeah, sure. So if he made you perfect, how is it that you sin and fail? Because you chose to be imperfect. Right, but if God made you perfect, how is it possible that you do something imperfect? Um, because you have freedom of choice. Right, but a perfect being would not be able to do things that are imperfect. Wait, what because, you... they're, because they're perfect. He made you perfect. Doesn't mean you and you kept being perfect, right? You have to choose to be perfect. Do you think perfect? No. Wait, do you think perfection is a choice, or do you think perfection is something that just happens? That just is. Well, you're saying he made you perfect. Mm -hmm. So if he made you perfect, yeah. how do you how do you fail? Perfect well, beings don't fail. Wait, no. I said he made you perfect, right? I didn't say you continue to be perfect. Those are two different statements, right? It's so like how does that, something how does something that's perfect go into a state of in something? Yeah, cool, cool. So it has to do with um choice, right? So let's say like a mechanic makes a car that's perfect, right? It runs perfectly, and let's say that car gets into a car no, crash. There's right? no such thing as a perfect car. Uh, the the mechanic's that, not the mechanic isn't perfect. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So let's say that the car let's say the let's say a mechanic makes like a perfect the car. The mechanic's not perfect. The mechanic so, isn't like, perfect. Like if you want to use an analogy, you have to use an analogy that involves a perfect being. Wait, the, the concept is how can you make something that isn't that isn't damaged and then it becomes damaged or perfect or, or is that is perfect and becomes imperfect. So the analogy will work just fine. No, because the mechanic is not perfect. We're, we're asking why, how can something that's perfect make something that's perfect that goes into a state of imperfect? Yeah, because you have choice. Yeah, Very but a perfect, a perfect being would never make a wrong choice. Wait, no, no, no. Those are two. Those are two separate things, right? A person that is a perfect, perfect being, so. a perfect being would always make the right choice. Wait, a perfect wait, no. Being would never make the wrong choice. No, a person is perfect because they choose to make the right choices, right? If you choose to make the wrong choices, then you're no longer perfect. It would be impossible for a perfect being, for a perfect being, to choose the wrong decision that would cause them to sin or cause them to fail. Wait, a perfect no, wait. being would never choose imperfect decisions. Wait, why? Because they're perfect. No, perfection is only is a, is a state of being. Wait, okay. So, do you do you agree that perfection is a state of being? Um. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you believe humans are are susceptible to change? Well, yeah, but if God, well, I don't believe that God made us. But like, if you believe that God made you perfect, how did how wait, how wait, do you, it, if it, God? I'm, if God made human beings perfect, how do human beings do, do things that are imperfect, which leads yeah, to Yeah, because be humans have like, this is this is this is so weird. But, but sir, right. but sir, a perfect being would not choose wrong choices that cause sin. A perfect being would never make a, a bad decision. No, perfect is a state. Okay, so perfect, a perfection is a state, right? Right. So perfection means to be, oh, it means it means to be flawless, right? So without sin, so it's a state that you act to active, actively choose, right? It's like you being born. No, you're not. You're not choosing it because you're made this way. Wait, you, you you have to actively choose not to sin. No, like if God makes you perfect, yeah, you you can't sin. You can't so, be. So you cannot be flaw perfect. You're, you're flawless, Wait, and everything perfect. you do is perfect. No, when we say perfect, so when I, when I, so maybe we're going off different definitions. When I say perfect, I mean without sin. What do you mean when you say perfect? Well, yeah, if you want to roll with that definition, if God made you without sin, mm -hmm. makes you sinless, how is it mm -hmm. possible that you sin? Yeah, because sin is a, is a choice that you're making. You have the ability like, to choose. If God made you, if God made you without the without the ability to walk backwards, could you choose to walk backwards? Wait, it's not that God made you without the ability to walk backwards. Is that you don't sin? Right, so God made you with God made you sinless, right? If God made you sinless, how is it possible that you sin? Yeah, because um, you have choice. This is so weird. It's like saying if God made you as a white piece of paper, and the the piece of paper had the ability to move and then get and decides to jump into like a thing of black ink, how can that be correct? If God made you a white piece of paper, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm trying to point out. Like, no, if I'm you saying, believe I'm that, that God, if you, like if you believe that God made you perfect, how how do we fall? How is there the fall of man? Yeah, and the, the answer is very simple: is that sinless is a state that you have to choose to be in. I, I don't understand what you mean. 
I'm yeah, not, so I'm not getting it. You're not. You're not. You're not getting that. No, you have like to if God made you sinless, how is mm -hmm. if if God made let's take Adam and Eve for example, uh -huh. right? Because they're the yeah. ones. They were the first two humans, right? Uh -huh. Did and did God make Adam and Eve sinless? Yeah. Then how did they sin? Yeah, because they had the choice and they chose is, to is, sin. Is God sinless? Yeah, sure. Can God sin? I I, I think that God can sin. No. Yeah, so if God is sinless and he can't mm -hmm. sin, and Ad yeah. he made Adam and Eve sinless, then it's impossible for them to sin. Wait, no, no, those are not the same thing. So God is it, what? So, so God is sinless because his nature is what defines right and wrong, right? So if he's the, he's the, he is the, um, because morals are not, are not, um, so he's the, he's the, um, He's the standard for our morality. That's why he is the way he is. That's why he is sinless because his nature it's the, itself right. is good. He, he, so it's not, with, it's not within thing. God's. It's not within God's nature to sin because he's sinless. Correct. It's not within God's nature to sin because he's the defining his morality. He defines morality because he's because he's sinless. So it's not no, within his because, nature to because, sin. No, because he defines morality. Oh, okay. So. Explain to me how Adam and Eve were made perfect, but they failed. Well, wait, 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 because Adam and Eve don't. Adam and Eve don't define morality. That has nothing to do with it. It does. It has no, because to do with it. because if Adam and Eve were perfect, how did they fail? Wait, the, the the concept that the yeah the reason why they failed is because they chose to. But a perfect being wouldn't choose that. A perfect being would always choose perfection. A perfect being would always choose perfection. Yeah, why, why would a perfect, perfect, how could something that's perfect become imperfect? How does something that by not choosing, by they, choosing would not, they would not choose to be imperfect? Sin. By choosing to sin. They, but a perfect being would never choose sin. Wait, that, that, is, that doesn't compute. Because, because sin, is, sin is imperfect, so a perfect. Okay, wait, wait, what is, okay, first of all, we have to define our terms when we say sin. Define sin, please. Um, I don't believe in sin, so I don't. I really couldn't define okay, it. Cool. Okay, so I, I'll define it right, and then you can agree with the definition or disagree with the, the, uh, by definition, right? Something that's opposite from God's nature. Okay. Right. Cool. So, when you have God, God can't. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Is choosing the opposite of God's nature imperfect? Yes. So, how does Adam and Eve are perfect? How did they choose the opposite of perfect? If they're perfect. Yeah, because they chose the opposite of God's nature. But a perfect being wouldn't do that. Wait, no, the state of perfection is different from, again, you have to constantly, we're going around in circles, right? Do you understand the concept? The concept Cause, of because you're not, you're not being logical here. I am and, being logical. A, a perfect being would never choose imperfect. Another, a perfect being would never fail. A perfect being would always be perfect and sinless. So if, if God made Adam and Eve perfect, how did they fall and get wait, tricked? Why, why, wait, why will like, a perfect it, being always could be a perfect, perfect? Could a perfect being be tricked? Could a perfect being be tricked? We're not talking about, wait, we're not talking about perfect in the state of, wait, what? Well, those are two different things. <laughs> Could a perfect being wait, be tricked? Those are, those are two different things, right? You're trying to say perfect as in the concept of, oh, this person has no flaws. Or this person, or this person rather um, um, has like, has like the all things considering perfect like absolutely flawless perfect. yeah well, we say so, uh, this is why i said we have a to perfect a perfect term. state of being yeah could, cool. a, could a could a could a perfect state of being be tricked can a, could a perfect state of being be tricked could a person choose yeah sure how could something that's perfect be tricked how could something that's perfect be tricked um like wait, wait what do you what do you mean how could like, something that's perfect because like they you, are like you think Eve was perfect, right? Yeah. But so then, how was she tricked? Yeah. How was she tricked into making an imperfect choice? How was she tricked into making an imperfect choice? Um, because she, w I'm so confused. Because she was like, what, what kind of what kind of question is this? Like, like Sir, what are you, what are you a, trying a, to get to? A perfect a perfect being would uh -huh. not. What a perfect being would not be. Oh, I'm getting a lot of pop feedback. Sorry. A perfect being would not be able to be tricked into becoming imperfect because they are flawless. They are perfect. They would never make wrong decisions or bad choices. They're just per they're perfect. No, no. The state of perfection. What's up, Nico? Is, wait, wait. Do you think state of perfection <clears throat> is infinite? Um, I don't know what that means. Do you think that everything that's perfect will always be perfect? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. So they have to justify that. Well, how could something that's perfect all of a sudden become imperfect? Yeah, cool. So I would just say that they had a state of perfection that's no longer perfect. But that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Something that's perfect is perfect. Yeah, no, it does. 
How? How yeah. could something that's perfect become imperfect? Yeah, cool. Let's say that we made a perfect sphere, right? And an asteroid hit it, and it's no longer a perfect sphere. Well, like, we're not perfect, though, so we couldn't make wait, a perfect wait, wait, sphere. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I say theoretically, right? We made we, a perfect we couldn't, sphere. We couldn't make a perfect wait, sphere wait, because no, no, we're no, not no, perfect. No, 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 the con no. You understand what I'm saying, right? Regardless, right? Let's say we could, right? This and is we not analogous. A perfect sphere. This is how it works. We made a this, perfect no, sphere. No, this is not analogous because we're not perfect, so we couldn't, wait, make, a, wait. We couldn't make a perfect sphere. Wait, sphere. no, you're no. We're saying I'm saying that theoretically we made a perfect sphere, right? How it's, could we? How perfect. could we make a perfect sphere if if we're not? Oh perfect? my gosh, bro, it's a, it's, a, it's an analogy. <laughs> it's so bad. yeah, but it's not. But I'm 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 trying to tell you that it's not analogous because we're talking about a perfect being here, right? Yeah, we're talking about something perfect, right? I'm, I'm, but I'm how could we like, make a perfect sphere though? We're not perfect. All like we, everything we make has errors and flaws in it. So it would wait, be, wait, we can we, wait, even though we're not perfect, we can do things perfectly. No, we can't. We, we can't. There's I don't I mean, we're not perfect. Okay, I guess I it would be subjective. I guess it would open your eyes. It would be subjective, I guess. Wait, wait, I want you to perfectly close and open your eyes. Not everyone can do that, though. Well, I'm saying you, you, I want you to perfectly close and open your eyes. Um, I, I wouldn't say that it's perfect. It's just it's just the way I was designed to do or like wait, it's just wait, wait, the way wait, I evolved wait. to do. Wait, then wait, well, why wouldn't it be perfect? You say you can't um, perfectly because close I'm, and open your eyes. I, I can I can successfully open and close my eyes, but I wouldn't say it's perfect. Wait, why? Because because somebody might say, "No, I can do it better than you. I can open and close my eyes better than you." Like it's subjective. It's subjective. Yeah, it okay, wouldn't, so have, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be survive. subjective? Wait, no, wait, no. I want you to no, because there's some things that are subjective, but there's certain things that are objective, right? Like, for example, you're objectively alive for the next one second, right? So if I say that I want you to be perfectly alive for the next one second. Right? I want you not to die, right? I want you to do that success perfectly for the next one I second. I wouldn't call that perfect. Wait, I would just wait, say that was successful. Wait, why wouldn't that be perfect? Did you die? Because I'm not perfect. Wait, it doesn't matter. So, like, so the, the fact that you're not perfect doesn't mean anything, right? There's certain things that are objective. Like the whole point here wait, is that if Eve wait, was perfect, how did she, wait, how did she get tricked? That, wait, the concept is that perf unperfect people can do perfect things, right? Doesn't mean they'll do everything perfect. The concept, this, this is so, this is so ridiculous, right? And so disingenuous. See, like, like, like I just told you, I, I want you to, to not to not die for one second right and i said that would be that would you completing the tax perfectly now do you want to count to a second with me mm. i think we'll be able to do that perfectly right i, I wouldn't know i wouldn't call it perfect i would just say that it was successful because Wait, well, somebody else could somebody else could come along and say well i could survive for one second better than you survive for and one so ha, second so ha, even though the, the, yeah it's all, like it's all subjective wait no the determining of success is the survival it doesn't matter what happens around it right it's just a survival so you it, it so that's the that's the objective state like determining the success is the, is the survival like and wouldn't it say, be better survive. wouldn't it so be I better to that. wouldn't it be better like if you had to survive for five seconds wouldn't it be better that you put someone in a room that has water and food for them to survive for the next five seconds not necessarily as opposed no. to as opposed to putting them not in a room that has as opposed to putting them in a room that has no water and food for them for them to survive for the next five seconds. Not necessarily, no. Why not? It's five seconds. Yeah, but it, it but it's still like better to have water and food, no, right? No, I don't think it would be better to have water and food for five that's why, seconds. That's why I don't. I'm not really sure seconds. if I would. I'm not really sure if I would agree that that's perfect. It was just I would just say it's successful. See, like the. <sighs> The concept that you can't do things that are perfect because you are imperfect is, is crazy. It's just ridiculous. Well, explain to me how a perfect being can do imperfect things. Yeah, Thanks because crown. Wait, cause when crown. we talk about perfection, we're talking about sinless. Yeah, so how can something that's sinless sin? Yeah, cool, because they have choice. But a sinless being would never choose to sin. That's not true. Why would something that is sinless... How, so, could, okay, something, how say, could something uh, that's sinless it be with outside so, of their nature to sin? So, so wait, so wait. We have to decide, you have to define when we say sinless, right? Which means that you have not sinned prior, right? Can we? Why would something we, that's wait, wait, perfect, so wait. So, when we say if we define sinless as you have not sinned prior, right? Because what it means to be sinless is that you have from the well, no, you decide moment, you define sin as the uh, opposite of God. I think. Wait, yeah, no, choosing the opposite of God's nature, right? And I said sinless, right? as not doing that prior to this moment. Yeah, so why would something, why would something that's sinless desire sin? It's not, it's, wait, why would someone, something that is sinless desire sin? 
Yeah. Like, like that's what I'm saying. A sinless being would never choose sin. And you said, that's not true. Well, why would something that's sinless desire to sin? Because they chose the opposite of because sinless. But they is just wouldn't. They wouldn't. Do, they wouldn't do that because that would be contradict being sinless. Like something that's no, perfect would not desire no, imperfection. Yeah, you would no longer be. You're right. At that moment, you would no longer be sinless. Like the concept that you chose to sin. You wouldn't. Was, you almost, wouldn't choose to sin if you were sinless. Because like, why would something no that's sense. why would okay? Explain to me why a sinless being would desire sin. Explain to you why a sinless being would desire sin, or or explain why a perfect being would desire imperfection. Or why a sinless being would desire sin is because they have choice and they desire whatever they, but they desire. But, they, but the point is, they wouldn't. They wouldn't choose that because they wouldn't. Wait, how could, no, no. How could, okay, sinless explain. Is, explain why a sinless being would desire sin. Yeah, because they have choice. Like there's nothing to explain your choice. No, I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you how they would choose sin. Yeah. Why would a sinless being desire to sin? Why would a sinless being desire to sin? I don't know. Maybe they're curious. They wouldn't, right? A sinless being wouldn't desire. No, I think that they 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 would. They could explain why. Explain why they would. Yeah, because um, I don't know. Maybe they're they're curious. Maybe they want to see what it's like on the other side. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. It, it does. It doesn't. Like like I guess the whole point of this like thing here is to get you is to make people people think is to get. And I'm 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 honestly like interested in hearing answers as well. But if God is perfect. And uh -huh. to me, that would entail that his creation is perfect. So that means that if we sin, then that's the way God intended us to, to, to be. No. Right? Because so how can so how can God's intentions fail? If God's intentions can fail, then he's not perfect. No. Oh, my gosh. So God is per when we say. OK, so when we say God is perfect. Right. I'm saying that God is God's very nature. God aligns with his very nature. He's the supreme being. He's the yeah. So perfect. he aligns with his own nature. So how could he fail at something? How, how can could he... his intentions fail if he's perfect? Well, how could his intentions fail? Unless unless he designed us to sin, then that would make no. sense. No. Well, if God be... didn't if God didn't design us to sin, how is it possible that we sin? That means he failed. His creation failed. Okay, so so I, I have a question, right? So so if so, there's so I guess like the, the way I can explain it to you, right? Is have you ever like have you, have you ever have you ever fallen in love with a woman? Mm, yeah, yeah. You you like the woman, and the woman did not like you back. Sure. Yeah. Cool. 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 So so I don't really see how this. Yeah. Cool. 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 Like, so I'll, I'll, we're not we're not we're not perfect though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like we're talking just, about a perfect we're talking about a perfect being here yeah, regard, and, and, yeah you're, regardless, and you're pointing so, to you're pointing to like hypotheticals and analogies that don't involve perfect beings oh so my it, gosh it's not, I literally it's not just, analogous I literally just, no i made i made analogies and i said that we designed the perfect a perfect sphere and you said well we can't do that because we're not perfect I'm yeah like, how could we how could we make a perfect sphere huh how, how, how could we make it a would, perfect it would have sphere? like we don't like everything we do has flaws like I think uh, we can do things perfectly. Now we can't do everything perfectly, but I think we can do certain things perfectly. I think it's impossible to say that we can't do. That would, perfectly. I guess, that would like again. That would go all back to like being subjective. Like somebody would say that I have a better way of opening and closing my eyes. So, I, you're, I would, like somebody could say, the when the way you just closed your eyes and opened them was not perfect. I have a better way. You know, you so it'd be subjective. Your, well, I'm not saying that the way you open your eyes is perfect. I'm saying opening your eyes is perfect. Like, so it's, it's Some, somebody could say thing. somebody could say I could open my eyes using less muscle, and it's perfect. That doesn't, that doesn't using, less, because, using less energy. Wait, wait, that doesn't that doesn't matter because again, when we <laughs> they would argue perfect, that they have a better way of doing it and that their way is perfect. Okay, for you to find something as perfect, right? You need to have like an objective standard, correct? Um, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> All right, cool, cool, cool. So if there has to be some, well, sort of no, actually, no, actually, no, because it's all subjective. Wait, You're, so like what I'm you think is perfect, somebody else might say no. It's not I know. Perfect. I'm saying for you to find something that's perfect, there needs to be an objective standard. I don't really know if that's if a, a, an objective standard exists. Okay, for, I'm for saying anything. for something to be considered perfect, you need an objective standard. I don't. I don't really know. I don't think so because oh shit, sorry. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think so because it's all subjective. Every, Perfection. Do you, you think everything in the world is subjective? No, not everything, no. All right, cool, cool. So the things that are objective, right? Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. So for those things to be, some, I'm, I'm plainly stating for something to be considered perfect, it needs to be objective. 
like math? Is it? Yeah, like math, sure. Like math is objective. Yeah, sure. Like math. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I, I would just think there would be some sort of objective standard, right? So how do we use that to determine like a sin? Yeah, cool. Because God's the objective standard. But how do you know that though? Yeah, because he's so. When we say objective, right? This is so. How, how do you define objective? Let's let's do it that way. How would you something define something that's objective? true? Something that's true, independent of mind. Yeah, so something that's just true, independent on like, uh, of like of like of whatever you think, right? No, something that's true of independent of what people think. It's true of whether there's a thought or a mind to acknowledge it or not. That's what yeah. It's just is. it's just it's just true, right? It's true and independent of mind. Yeah, cool. So if we say that something is true independent of like what other people think, right? Or independent of like some sort of like mind or whatever, right? Then isn't that say, what a isn't that what objective is? Yeah, sure. I, I would I would agree with your definition that it's something that's true independent of like um, whether or not a mind is there to observe it or not. Yeah. So like, how can you know that you have like how can how can God be the objective standard if you can't prove God? Wait, it, it, regardless of wait, regardless of whether or not you can absolutely prove something, it still exists or doesn't, right? Say that again. Regardless of whether or not you can absolutely prove something, it still exists or doesn't, right? Uh, the objective state of something existing does not matter on whether you can prove it or not. If it, it if it, it if it is objectively true, then yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so so that that, that so that wouldn't matter. <clears throat> but. It does because you're saying that we have to use God as an objective standard to yeah. to determine what perfect is. But yeah. You don't know that God is there. Wait, wait, regardless of what, wait, regardless of what you you, you what, can't use you can't use as a as a as a you can't use God as a standard to determine what perfection is because you don't know that God's there. I don't know that God's there. I have enough evidence for me to say that God's there. I mean, like, and but that's enough for, to convince me, so I can use it as a. But you don't know it. You just have faith. You just believe it. You don't know it, though. Mm -hmm. Like so you have, like you have faith in God, right? Yeah, sure. I have faith in even God. Even though, too. even though you have evidence of God, you still have faith. That, that doesn't really make sense. You can have wait, wait. So, do you think all evidence is absolute? No. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, like, but that's what faith is having. Faith is believing in something without evidence. So, if you have evidence of God, why do you need faith? Why do you need faith if you have evidence? Yeah. I mean, you still got it. There's just still certain things that you ha like. You still need like to be able to believe, right? Like, you have to my believe point, like the evidence. My, oh, wait. My, my point is, why do you have faith in God if you know God exists? Why do you have faith in God if you know God exists? Like, why do you have faith that God exists if you know God exists? That doesn't make really make sense to me. So you're asking if I have evidence of God, then I just then I'll be up to knowing He exists versus. Um, well, yeah, because it seems to me that if it seems to me you wouldn't need faith if you know something is true. Well, I would I would say that I I, I would say that I know God exists and I have faith I have faith in the evidence that I know that I have. Is correct, but but faith is without there's no way to evidence. Prove that, wait, 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 wait. There's no way to prove. Wait, there's no way to prove that the evidence I have is absolute. Right, so I have to have faith that it is correct. Right. So, like for faith example, is, you look at faith wait, is without evidence. Wait, I have a question. If you right? have evidence, then you don't need faith. Wait. So I have a question. Right. You said that you can look at you. That there's no evidence that's absolute. Right. So let's let's say you look at the sun right now. Right. Do you know the sun exists, or do you have faith it exists? Well, we have evidence that the sun exists. Okay. So there's evidence, but you said there's no evidence that's absolute. Right. Uh, well, I guess it depends uh -huh. on what type of evidence because you could have like substantial, you could have like, um, Wait. there's different types of evidence. So I guess I, I, I shouldn't have said that because not all evidence is equal to every other type of evidence. I, I know not all evidence is equal to other types of evidence, right? But if not evidence, not uh, there's evidence is not absolute, right? Then you have to have faith in the evidence. And there's a diff there's a difference between evidence and proof as well. It's evident. So evidence and proof is, um, there, like, like you would use you would use evidence to get to the proof yeah you would so uh, so proof would be like the using evidence to back up like the claim of something existing or not existing yeah 
Yeah, and there's different and there's different forms of evidence. There's stronger forms of evidence. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. But again, holding to the fact. So that yeah, I, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that all. So, so do you think that all? Do you think there there are evidence? There are forms of evidence that are absolute. Um. Yeah. Look, like I said, the more forms of evidence are absolute. Like like the example you use, like the evidence of the sun, or like the evidence that that fire is hot. Are you there? So, so, so you said the, uh, yeah, sorry, I got a call. Can you Thanks for extending your sub. Appreciate that. Thank you for extending your subscription. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying? Yeah, sorry, I got a call. Um, so you said there are certain evidences that are absolute, right? So you can, so as long as you see it, right, then you can trust it. Mm, well, as long as it's, it's not necessarily just seeing it, I would, I would say it's as long as you can uh, test it and verify it. Wait, and, that means uh, it, that means it's true. That means it's absolutely true. So it's perfect. No, I wouldn't say it was perfect. Okay, cool. So that means it's, that means that there's a chance that you that you could be wrong, right? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, there's okay, always cool. a chance so that there's, there's, there's always no a chance that you're absolute. wrong about something. Well, okay, so there's no evidence that's absolute, right? Well, I really don't know. Like, we have ev we have absolute evidence that fire is hot, right? Wait, wait. So, so either is eight, that evidence, evidence is, is that evidence absolute? Wait. I agree that they, I agree that like evidence, right? You have to have faith for evidence, right? So either a evidence is absolute. No, how can you? Wait, you have to have. How can you? Go, how can you have faith if you have evidence? Because faith is no, without no. evidence. No, no. Okay, so you have to have faith that your evidence is sufficient. Like this is like so. This is so like so. It's saying that you have to have evidence for your evidence, right? So it's not saying that you the thing that you're believing in, right? So I said that the thing you're believing in is A, evidence is B, right? And then your C, right? So you have to have so you have to ha you have to have faith that B is correct, right? But because you have evidence, I, I don't have to have faith if we correct. have. I don't have to have faith if we have evidence. Wait, so then that means you have to you have to make the claim that that the evidence is absolutely correct. No, not always. I don't think so. Yeah, no, unless you can, if you cannot make a claim because that there's evidence different is types of evidence, but regardless, right? If you cannot make the claim that evidence is absolutely correct, that you have to have faith to believe it's like, evidence. The evidence that like fire is hot. That's absolute, isn't it? Is it not? Wait, so you're saying it's absolute? I'm asking you. I mean, yeah, no, absolute doesn't mean perfection. I don't think wait, 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 what does it mean then? Just means it's true. Wait, so wait, absolute doesn't mean it's perfect. So and, and plus by your definition of perfection, that is mm -hmm. that does not that is not so it, when we're talking about perfection. Can't use, without, okay, you so said you perfection wanted, was the op or you said perfection is uh without without sin. Without sin yeah, without the op yeah, without, without like well, actually, I don't think you you didn't define perfection. You defined sin. I'm getting that confused, but yeah. So <clears throat> anyway, but like, I think that when we're talking about like, okay, so this is what I'm saying. Like when we're talking about perfect, I mean, it comes to like some like the biblical sense. That's different than we're talking about like perfect, like on like a holistic sense. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. I, I don't know how to explain it to you. Like biblical perfection, like definition of perfection is diff different than when we say, oh, this thing is perfect. Like this is a perfect circle. And we're not saying this circle is without sin. I, I don't understand like how we can, how I can explain that to you. I don't understand how a perfect, <laughs> I don't understand how a perfect creator, how a perfect creator's creation could f fail or be, or become imperfect. Yeah, no, the, it's the- Unless that was what he intended. No, no. Uh, perfection well, then, is a state. You again, have like if God is a perfect creator, oh, yes, would that not entail that His creation would be perfect? I, I, I think it would be perfect initially. And it, but how does something go from how does something go from perfect? How does something that's perfect desire imperfection? Yeah, because they have choice. But a perfect be a, something that's perfect would not desire to choose imperfection well you would have that, was, to have that would have seems like a contradiction you would have to have some sort of influence from like some sort of like outside source right i would think that for i would think that for like some sort of like uh, at least for like um it's like a, i think that like like uh, 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 i say this way i think that you can go from perfect to imperfect if there's an outside source influencing you um i know that there might be other ways that you can go from perfect to imperfect but i know Definitely, you can go from perfect to imperfect if there's an outside source influencing you. I don't, I don't, I don't see how a, a perfect being could be tricked. Like the outside source would be the ser would be the serpent tripping tricking Eve, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I would say that would be the outside source. Yeah. Yeah. So how could Eve 
how could if, if Eve is perfect, how could she be tri tricked into making a, an imperfect? Yeah, because we're, we're t we're, I'm pretty sure we're talking about biblical perfection here, and this is without sin. Yeah. So how could a perfect being be tricked into making an imperfect decision? Wait, because that, because being without sin doesn't ma that has no bearing on one person's ability to oh, make decisions. And that's a good point as well. Who made who made the serpent? That's a good point too. <laughs> Yeah, so wait, being without sin has no has no bearing on like someone's ability to make decisions. You know, well, you understand that, right? It just seems like this statement would be like, if we sin, it would it would seem that it's, it's logical that God made us to sin. And if you're, and if you're going to say that we, we that God didn't make us to sin, but we still sin, then somehow God failed in some way. I don't think that I, I think both statements can be can be true that God made us not to sin though we chose to sin, but we sin anyway. I think that both statements can be true. But that then, but then that would mean that God failed, which would mean he's not no. Perfect. I don't think that. Wait, no, I don't think that means that God failed. So God designed something to not do it to 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 not do something, but that wait, design wait, wait, still. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think that God designed us to always choose His will? I don't know. So that's that's so that's the claim that you're making, right? The claim that you're making is that God designs us to always choose His will, right? But this is counter to um, the the Bible. God I think, mo I think most Christians. I think most wait, Christians. No, 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 no. Most Christians would not agree that God designed us to always choose His will. This is counteracting. No, 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 no. I, I would say yeah. that most Christian. I would say that most Christians would say that God is perfect and that He created us like to to be perfect. Right, he, or he, he, created Adam and Eve would be would be perfect. But no, I think that most Christians would agree that God created. Do what? You got uh, you got another phone call. I had a call again. Again, sorry. I would think that most Christians would say that Adam that God created Adam and Eve in a state of perfection. Right, that means they were perfect when they were initially created. God didn't create us with the desire to always choose His will. That's, Did God? That's a, different, that's a different thing entirely. Did God intend for Adam and Eve to sin? Does, no. Then he failed. I, I don't know. His, inten if, so you have, his, so, his so intentions failed. His intention no, failed. No, because God's intention was to give people the ability to choose. God's intention was for mm -hmm. Adam and Eve to not fail. No. Or, or, or God's intention was for Adam and Eve to not sin. God's intention was for Adam and Eve to be able to, cho to choose him, to, to, want, to give them the, the ability to choose, and he wanted them to want to choose him. Because he gave them the ability to choose. Then why did he? Either. Then why did he create the serpent, knowing that the serpent would trick them into not choosing him? Again, the serpent. Or unless the, I don't know if you believe God is all knowing or not, but yeah, I think God is all knowing. Sure. So so why would it, why would God, if God didn't intend for Adam and Eve to not choose him, mm -hmm. why would he create the serpent, knowing that they would be tricked into not choosing him? Yeah, because regardless if God is all knowing or not, that doesn't doesn't take away the fact that He still creates people, or so or so He created people. Right? I don't understand how that like both of these things can be like. I guess I don't understand what you're trying to say. Like, why would God create the serpent? Because if He knew that the serpent serpent would trick would trick them, is that what you're saying? Yeah, and he, like He knows that. Like, especially if you're going to say God didn't intend for Adam and Eve to fail or to sin. If God didn't intend for Adam and Eve to sin, why did He create the serpent? knowing that they would that they that he would trick them and that they would sin but he didn't intend for them to sin so so so, so i'm gonna ask you to define intent please <clears throat> um something that you desire to happen okay so you define intent as something you desire to happen so yeah so god didn't desire for adam and eve to sin he gave them the choice then to god failed <laughs> no he didn't fail because I think that Some, his, something happened that God didn't intend for it to happen. Wait, no. So you think that? So do you think that like a person can have multiple wills? I don't know. Like, like I'm not. Like, I'm not good at the philosophy stuff. I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, cool. So, so, so like, uh, so a person having multiple wills, right? Like, I want this to happen, but I also want this to happen. So, or like, somebody like, could like somebody could want somebody could want two two contradictory things. No, like for example, like um, I want, I want, I want her to, um, I want her to, like for example, let's talk about the, the whole love situation. I want her to shoot to to love me, but I also want her to be happy. Do you think those okay. two things can be can be can be can can be ident can be like the same thing? Like people can have two, two different, different two different desires. Yeah, two different desires. Is that you think that's correct? Yeah. 
All right, cool, cool, cool. So then if we say two people, a person can have two different desires, right? And let's say that, um, would, would you say that people can prioritize desires? Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Right, I'll just say that God prioritizes our desire of choice. He, he prioritizes our desire to choose. Yeah, to choose. To choose what? To choose whether to love him or not. So... But that still doesn't answer the question as to why, if God desired for something to happen, or if God didn't desire for something to happen, then why did it happen? Wait, no, because God did. Well, no, because God's desire is for us to be able to choose, right? And then we did have the ability to choose. He has, so he so prioritizes. God does the des so God does desire us to choose sin. No, He desires us to choose. There's a difference. To choose what? To choose whether we love Him or not. So there's a desire so so it's like so what so, you're saying is, is so then why did right? so I, then if if god wants adam and eve to choose then why did he have the serpent trick them wait he had the serpent trick them like did like yeah i mean he he knows all this is going to happen he's the creator he, of everything. yeah no he allowed it i'm not saying that he he so he had them those are two different those are two different things well yeah like if god if god wants adam and eve to freely choose something then why mm -hmm. did he in, then why did he bring him an outside force to influence their decisions did he bring it in yes he did he's the creator and he knows all this is going to happen wait no knowing something's going to happen doesn't mean that you did it like this is not the same thing like for well, example if god like, knows if i watch a game if i watch a football game that already happened i didn't but you're I didn't not the, the you're not happen. the creator you're not but the creator it, but, of doesn't, but it doesn't matter though. if god like, knows if god knows that the serpent if god knows that the serpent is going to trick eve can the can the serpent not trick eve can the serpent not trick eve if god knows the serpent is going to trick eve it's still the serpent's choice to trick eve so like, if if god knows that the snake is going to trick eve can the snake freely choose to not trick eve and make god wrong about what he knows wait you're 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 saying that the snake's choice is based off of God's foreknowledge. God's foreknowledge, but that's not correct. Well, explain to me how God's perfect knowledge of the snake tricking Eve could be wrong. Yeah, so so again, I could just explain this with the football analogy, right? Like me knowing but you're not the so, creator wait, of the game. It, it, regardless, it doesn't matter though. Like if it, I know that the, like no, wait, wait. If I know that the Packers are going to win, like you didn't or, design every play wait, of the but game. That doesn't, doesn't matter though. We're talking specific about knowledge. If Your I knowledge know, is not perfect. Either. Wait, no, no, it is perfect. Like for example, I know mm -hmm. the Chiefs, right? They 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 won the Super last year can the chiefs not win the super bowl last year because i know it or can, or can the opposite team win the super bowl last year if you are the designer of something wait, 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 regardless if i'm the designer we're talking uh, about perfect knowledge uh well like if you created the game to where the chiefs win can the chiefs not win no they can't so like wait, if god wait, created wait. eve if god created the snake knowing that he would trick eve the snake has no choice to, to, to trick eve no they're not the same thing they're not the same thing like you're oh, well, well you, <laughs> you didn't answer you didn't answer i asked you if, if god knows that the snake's gonna trick eve can the snake freely choose to not trick eve he can has the to snake freely choose to not trick eve the the snake the snake will trick eve yeah he yes. has to he has to so this is, this is god like doing god. this, this no it's god not. did that's make not, god did not make the same thing God did the make thing. the snake trick Eve. He did make no, it happen. No, that's not the same thing. Well, you're just, you're well then just give me an alternate. Well, then give me an alternate explanation because you yeah, just said you just said the snake has to trick Eve. No, I'm sorry. I said that the snake will trick Eve. Yeah, the the snake will. The snake must. The snake has to trick Eve. No, because must, God knows. The, no, must decide. When you said the snake must trick Eve, we're saying that the, the choice is taken away from the snake. No. So can the, the snake, snake choose? Can, can the snake choose the opposite? can the snake choose the opposite um the snake has already chosen to trick eve i, I don't know how to explain it you're talking about time here like this is so weird right like, the snake can't choose the opposite of tricking eve he has to trick eve he must trick eve he will trick eve because this is what god's perfect knowledge is it doesn't mean that way no those are just because you have perfect knowledge doesn't mean that you're you caused something to happen this is so weird and bizarre well if if the snake can't choose the opposite 
then no, it's still a choice. Wait, like it again? This you just said you said the snake can't make a choice. You said wait, this is the same as the football analogy because a choice has already been made. Wait, no, but but wait, the the difference is that you're the designer of this the the snake. You're designer of the Eve of Eve. This is all like you're you're designing your knowledge. Like in the football analogy, you're not designing your knowledge. You didn't design the game. And if you were to design the game and design your knowledge of the game, and you know the Chiefs are going to win, the Chiefs can't not win they, they they have to win they must win because this is the way you designed it to be if, if i was the one who designed the game right then that means the chiefs must win yeah like because you just could well, did god design his knowledge did god design his knowledge he just has his knowledge like he didn't design his knowledge it's just his knowledge just is i don't know like how to explain that like okay so i have a which, question right which the means whatever invented, god knows is going to happen like, will. so i have a question the person who invented basketball then right because he designed the game of basketball after watching the first team win the game right does he now say that he caused that first team to win the game because he designed the game of basketball this 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 person who designed the game is not all-knowing Wait, wait, no, no. At that point, he is all knowing because he knows. No, he's not all yes, knowing. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. you're telling me the person that created the basketball game and watched the first game now has knowledge of all things. He now has knowledge of who won the first game. Yeah, but he's not all knowing. He is. He is all knowing when it comes to that first game. He's not. His knowledge is not perfect. I think. His, just, I think his knowledge on the outcome is, of the game is pretty perfect. This, this, like, like, can the other team not? He's not all, just because you design a game, just because you design a game and you watch the first <laughs> game happen, does mm -hmm. not mean that you suddenly know all things. You, this is ridiculous. Wait, wait, but you know, but so, like, I guess, like, you have to ask, like, God exists outside of time, right? So he exists simultaneously in the past, present, and future, right? So I, I, d I don't know if that's knowledge. what you believe. I, but I think most I people, believe. yeah, that is okay. what I believe. I think he exists outside of time, right? Space, time, matter, whatever you want to call it, right? So he exists simultaneously in the past, present, and future. He can observe all things, right? So the reason why he's all knowing, right, would be based on the fact that he already he know, he's already he exists outside that time, and he already knows the outcome. But he also designed everything. Wait, regardless, wait, regardless of whether or not he designed everything, I would just go back into the, the the analogy of the person who designed the basketball game. No, because you don't know how you don't know the results of the game, the first game that you're watching. God would know because he designed everything. No, he knows because he exists. Like you, exists you wouldn't know. Like if you design the, the guy who designed basketball does not know the results of the very first game. Yeah, because that wait, that because that guy exists within time. God exists outside of time. This is so weird. But after I mean, the time has passed, he then knows that information. I would still argue. I would still argue that if God knows you're going to turn left, you can't turn right. If God knows like, that you're going to trick Eve, you can't. I, I would disagree. I, I don't think. Okay. Well, how? Good. How can you freely turn right if God knows you're going to turn left? And wait, God, God not, if wait. you were to turn right, that would make God wrong about what He knows. And His His knowledge is perfect. Yeah, his knowledge is perfect, but that's based on the fact that he exists outside of time. This is so weird. So you can't turn right, can you? You can't turn right. If, he won't if, turn right. It's not like he's. You know why he won't? You right. know why he won't? Because God because knows he's, he's going to no, turn left. But, no, because God exists outside of time. This is so weird. Oh my gosh! Like I feel like <laughs> we're just, I'm hitting my head on a wall here. I'm like, it's like, oh, he can't, he can't, he he won't turn right because God already knows what's going to happen. That doesn't mean that he caused it. Like this whole entire thing is just weird. Well, God is the designer of everything. Yeah, sorry about that. My I keep getting calls. Right. No problem. I got I got some more guests, but I, I appreciate you coming up and talking to me. I, I really yeah. enjoyed the, I enjoyed the conversation. All right, see you. All right, see you later. Everyone, double tap that screen, guys. Spam the likes. Spam the likes right now. Click the follow button. Share the live, guys. <clears throat> What's up, Dave? What's going on, everybody? I'm sorry if I didn't uh, say hello to you guys or if I didn't um, acknowledge any gifts. I've got nine guest requests. I don't know who is first in line, so I'm just going to pick randomly here, guys. Hello? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. So, um, your question, your perfect God made you to sin. Um, the first thing I think of is he created us, so we have to rely on him. Just like a baby's created, it has to rely on his parent, you know? Um, well, are you saying that you agree that God did make you to sin? Is that what you're saying? We ha we're born with a sinful nature. Yeah. So, so God made you to sin? He knew we were going to sin, yeah. So, 
why would then why would God punish you for something that he made you to do? Why do you why do you why do you he's not making us do it? He, he knew created, we were he, he created you to sin. You just said he did. We were born with the sinful nature because naturally we want to go against God. Just like like the the conversation you were having with the last person. Um I like also I, what that would also make me ask if God is perfect, why does he desire imperf imperfection? Sinning, sinning would be imperfection, right? Yes. So if God's perfect, why would he desire uh, to create something that's imperfect? Well, here's the thing. It's not that. It's more like he loves us so much, and so he wants us to have a relationship with him on top of him, on top of us freely choosing him. So why would he? Why would you create something that naturally doesn't want to go with you, and then will never even need you? But that's the thank thing. You, thank you for the subscription, Hugh. Thank you so much for the subscription. I really appreciate you. But we're gonna Sorry, go I, against him, <clears throat> and we're gonna need him. Yeah, this still doesn't really answer answer anything. So let me let me just say the one thing I was gonna say. Um, the last guy you're having a conversation with. The thing I was thinking of was um like judas right did god make judas betray jesus judas and is judas is just judas is just acting on god's uh, foreknowledge perfect foreknowledge so i like to say is god knew that the temptation that judas was facing it was going to be too powerful for him so therefore he inputted it in god's will yeah and so could like judas could not have chosen to not betray jesus because right. that would make God wrong about what he knows. So J Judas has to betray Jesus. But it's not that he has to because he has no choice. It's because God well, knew that he wasn't he... going to choose any other thing. Yeah, so can can Judas choose to not betray Jesus? Yes. He can't, can he? He could have. So that would make God's knowledge wrong. No. It's God, so God, God knows to God knows Judas is going to betray Jesus. Yes. Can God ever be wrong about what he knows? No. So that means that Judas has to betray Jesus, because if Judas was to make a decision to not betray Ju Judas, that would make God wrong about what he knows. And you just said God can never be wrong about what he knows. But that's the thing, though. If you say that he can't choose any other option, you're eliminating free will, and you can't do that. Exactly. Exactly. That's yeah. the whole argument. So, like, but the that's, fact that's is, the whole point. The whole argument is that if God's knowledge, if God is all knowing and his, his knowledge is perfect, then you don't have free will. That's not the thing. It's the fact that God inputs his. For, okay, here's the thing. God is the only one that can speak in certainty because he's the no. He knows what's going to happen. So uh, temptation is going to be presented yeah. in front of you. Whatever God knows is going to happen will happen. But it still does, it doesn't eliminate your choice. You can't freely choose the opposite. Yes, you can. So so if God knows I'm going to turn left, you're saying I can freely choose to turn right and make God wrong about what he knows. But that's the thing, though, is that God isn't wrong, and He knows you are going to choose left. It doesn't eliminate your option to choose right. So, I, so I can choose. So I, choose left. I, I can turn right, <laughs> even though God knows I'm turning left. Yes. So God's just wrong. Like, just God's like wrong about choose, what He knows. Just like you could choose hell and not that be would, with Him, that would make, or you could that would be make, with God and choose. That would make God wrong about what He knows if I were to choose the opposite of what He knows. But He's not wrong because He knows what you're going to pick. Right, and in this scenario, he knows I'm turning left, so I can't turn right, can I? Okay, I got another, I got another thing. Um, I forgot where it is. Um, I think it's in... I forgot where it is. But anyways, he was talking about the Pharaoh, and um, he said, I hardened Pharaoh's heart to display my sovereignty. So God knew that the Pharaoh was not going to choose God at all. And so what did God do? is that he used him to display God's sovereignty. So God knew that the Pharaoh was never going to choose him, but he still allowed his will to happen for okay. his sake. If God knows you're going to turn left, can you freely choose to turn right? No, yes. you can't. No, you can't. But you can't eliminate free will. You, you don't have free will if God is all-knowing. If you want to if you want to claim if you want to make the claim that God gave you free will, you also have to say that he's not all-knowing. That he doesn't like, know what you're going to do. Because if God knows what you're going to do, you have to do what he knows is going to happen. You can't freely choose the opposite of God's knowledge. If you were to choose the opposite of God's knowledge, he would be wrong about what he knows. And that can't happen. God's, perfect, God's knowledge is perfect.
He can never be wrong. So, so if God I, knows you're going to turn left, you will turn left. You must turn left. You cannot choose to turn right. You are going to turn left. So out of everything that God's done for love, you think he's just created puppets? If God is all knowing, you are a puppet. Yeah. I, how, 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 like, how do you say that? But like, do you think he's choosing? Explain you to me. To rebel explain, against it. Re refute what I'm saying. Prove, prove what I'm saying is wrong. If God knows you're going to turn left, can you freely choose right, turn to turn right and make God wrong? No, you can't. But you God you have is to go the only left. one that can speak in certainty. What? I don't even know what that means. God can only speak in certainty because when he speaks, it happens. This, this, does not, this, it happens. this doesn't disprove you not having free will if God is all-knowing. Wait, say it again? If God is all-knowing, you are a robot. You don't have free will. No, he's all knowing because he knows what we're going to choose. That's the thing. And and you can't choose the opposite of what he knows. But because but he knows what we're going to choose. That doesn't yes. limit our choice. Yes, and you can't choose the opposite of that, can you? Yes, you can. So God could be it's wrong. Like so God could be that. wrong about what he knows. God could be wrong about what he knows. No. Right. So you can't choose the opposite of what he knows. You have to choose what he knows. Okay. Why would he allow people to just choose to rebel against him forever and ever? Have no point to it. Well, if God is all knowing, they're not choosing to rebel against him. They're just doing what God knows is going to happen. But why would he allow his people just to suffer forever and ever if he loves them so much? Because he's immoral? I don't know. Why, why, why would he? Why would he? Then you're questioning everything that he's ever done. Uh, sir, I don't I don't believe in God. This is this is this is for you to determine. I don't know why your God would do this. It's OK. Um. If you record a football game, you heard this analogy before? Yes, but you're not the designer of the football game. God is the supreme designer here. So, okay, of course, if you watch if you that. watch a football game, yeah, you're going to know the end results. Yes. But did you did you change the player's free will of anything? I didn't create the game. Yeah, okay. But did you God, change the player's God, free will? If if I was the creator of the game and I know that this team is going to win, can they lose? Yes. So I could be so I could be wrong about what I know, even though I'm perfect. Oh. But you ultimately know what's going to happen. Like the, like the last guy was talking about the Chiefs. What was the last Super Bowl? The Chiefs and the um, Eagles, right? Yeah. So, so God, let's say God created that game. God's God is perfect, and His knowledge is perfect. God knows the Chiefs are going to win the game. He designed the game this way. He designed the game knowing that the Chiefs would win. Could the Eagles have won? Okay, back up for a second. He's not saying this is going to happen and therefore you have no choice in it could, the, eagle, saying, could the eagles have won hold on god bases things off of our choices which ultimately is everything that he has planned for so what you're saying if god bases things on our choices then what you're saying is that god doesn't know what we're going to do until we do it no but that's the thing that makes him god is because he already knows it's going to happen yeah and we can't choose the opposite of what he knows can we Yes, you can. Then, then you can make God wrong. Because the opposite of what God wants for us is sin, and we sin every day. Let's let me just break this down for you, real slow. Can God ever be wrong about what He knows? No. If God knows you're going to turn left, can you turn right and make Him wrong about what He knows? No. There you go. Now you got it. You but, can't freely choose to turn right. You got. You have to turn left because God knows you're turning left. His, but, and his, his knowledge is perfect. So if God designed the football game, if God designed the football game, knowing that the Chiefs will win, the Eagles cannot win. The Chiefs will win. They must win. They have to win. It's not <clears throat> just pure predestination and pure free will. It's a If mixed God way. is all-knowing, then your entire life is predetermined. Every decision, every thought, everything you're going to do is all. He knows you before you're, he knows you while you're in the womb. Right, he know he says that in the Bible. I know you're in while you're in the room. I created you, so you, whatever, like all your entire your entire life is predetermined and predestined and in, in part of God's will. If He's all knowing, unless you believe God is not all knowing, then I would accept the argument that you do have free will, that you can freely choose things because God doesn't know what you're going to do because He's not all knowing. But okay. if God is all knowing, you have to choose the things that He knows you're going to do. If everything is predestined, why don't you choose to follow God right now? Well, if God is real and everything's predestined, I can't choose. I'm just doing what God predestined me to do.
but I'm asking you, like, could you choose to follow him right now? Uh, you can't choose your beliefs. You're either convinced that God is real or you're not convinced. You don't just flick a switch and choose to believe things. What do you mean? You believe that he doesn't exist? No, I'm not convinced that he doesn't exist. Why? Or I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that he exists. I'm not. Why not? I don't, because I I, 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 I'm just not convinced. I have yet to see an argument that would convince me that he exists. I can't just flick a switch and choose, yes, I believe he exists. I, you can't just force yourself to do that. Like, can you for can you just like right now all of a sudden just stop believing in God? Uh, that wouldn't disprove his realness. So you're not getting the point. What my point is that you don't just choose what you believe. You're either convinced that God is real or you're not. You don't just choose it. It's not something that you can do on your own. No, but here's the thing: is that I it's can. It's not something that you can control. This doesn't. That doesn't disprove that he's real. I, yeah, I, I never said God's not real. I didn't. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making the claim that your God isn't real. I'm just saying I'm not convinced He's real. I'm not. I'm not making the positive statement. Won't be convincing that, enough for you to think He's real. That's your job. You're, you're claiming God is real, so the. But I don't your know job. God. And and I couldn't tell you what the evidence for your God would be. It's your God. I, I couldn't tell you what the evidence would be. Like, okay, what would be something? Can, okay, what convinces you of waking up in the morning and going watch your day? What convinces me that I actually woke up that day? Like, what convinces you to say, okay, look, I woke up, let's go do something today? My subjective conscious that I experienced. Okay, so based off that subjective conscious, tell me what would be convincing enough to say God's real? Or the God, the God is proof, proven. I, I don't know what the evidence for your supernatural claim would be. This is, it's, it's your job to prove your supernatural claim. Um, do you, do you, uh, have you ever prayed? Yeah, I prayed, yeah. So, I don't know your past. Have you, were you like a Christian or a Catholic or anything? Not like, I used to believe in, in God. I used to be, a, 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 I used to believe in the Christian God, but I was never like a, like, a, like full-blown Christian. I always, was always kind of skeptical about it. So, you were like full-on following type thing? Yeah. Like, okay. I wasn't, a, I'm not a, I was never a big church goer. I don't come from like a religious family. Um, I just, I'm not convinced that God exists. Yeah, I I, uh, I was never raised in like a, a Christian household or any religious household or any way. Um, but the way I did it, I prayed to God and I said, "Prove yourself to me." Um, but that's not. But that's not proof, though, that your God's real. Yeah, I know. He proved my. He proved himself to me. And so, proof in generality type thing isn't so, going to be convincing enough for a certain person. There's, so there's, there's, there's people out there. There's people out there that pray to Allah, and Allah revealed themselves to to them, and they believe Allah is real. So you both can't be right. The point I'm trying to make is that you have to be willing to say, "I'm open to this." What? You have to be willing. That's, to I, say, am. That's, I, I, I am. That's I'm I am. I'm convince me he's real. But you have to be. You have to let it happen through not just words, but through action. Like how? Like what do you mean? So like what I did was I prayed and I said, look, I said, I did look, pray. God, I prayed. I'm just, I'm just gonna give you my thing, right? I said, look, God, if you're real, I want this to happen. I want this to happen. And I want this to happen. And long story short, one of those things happened. Only one. But Is it possible that that was a coincidence? Coincidences? Um, why would that be just a coincidence? Is it possible that it's a coincidence? It's not just a coincidence that my heart changed. No, is it possible that the thing you prayed for happened? Is it possible that that's a coincidence? Of course. Yeah, so that's not going to be enough evidence to convince me. Of that but the real. further evidence was my heart changed. Because here's, the, here's what I prayed for already. I said, I want to meet this girl when I turn this age. That's really selfish of you. It is. It was, wasn't it? Of all, the, so, things you, of all the things you could ask God to do, you, you asked him to do something about you meeting a girl. I did, because I wanted him to prove it, right? And so by the time I turned this age and it was my birthday, I did not meet this girl. But by the time that happened, I learned that the thing I was longing for was love. And it wasn't... Does, does, does God... Love wasn't going to fulfill me. It was God's love. And so therefore, me wanting to meet that girl... I completely didn't care about it anymore because I ultimately learned that God's love is what's fulfilling me. When when God doesn't answer prayers, is that proof that he's not real? No. Well, then you can't say that it's proof that God is real when he answers prayers. No, no. God answers every prayer. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. 
there there are children that pray for a meal and they don't get that meal there's three million children that starve every year to death you're telling me none of them ever pray for a meal how do you think god answers prayers i don't know but if god prays prays for a meal if, if a child who's starving prays to eat that night and he doesn't eat that night how the fuck did god answer that prayer because so, okay here's the thing is god uses people to answer prayers that's a but. that's an absolute ridiculous statement to say that god answers all prayers no it's either usually it's like a yes or a no and let's just say god is like yes i want to feed this child oh, but there's oh okay there, i see there's what you're someone saying. out there who <laughs> isn't willing to go feed that child I, I see what you're saying you're saying that god answers every prayer by saying either yes or no what no I, I, yes i'm saying yes okay. but here's the thing so like is when a child when a child is starving and he <laughs> prays for a, a meal that night god answered it by saying no no he did not he says i want to feed you yes and so i'm going to place it on somebody's heart to go give you food but maybe but that, that but maybe that the person that huh? is, but so god didn't answer the prayer then yes he did no because the, if the god answered that baby's prayer he would have ate that night no but it's okay listen fully listen to what i'm saying okay ready i hear okay. what you're saying you're saying that you're saying the, the child prayed to eat that night and god said i want you to eat so i'm going to put it in this person's heart to go feed you but that person doesn't want to feed you it's on it's that person's fault it's not my fault as god right but if you had a believer who was going to do it say yes i'm going to go feed these people then that, it's going to go god is not answering that child's prayer to eat Yes, he is. It just didn't no, happen. No, he let the child starve to death. He let, but that's the he point let, of, he let that's the, the child point starve. Followers being obedient. He let the child starve. He didn't answer the prayer. The no, baby's no prayer. he did not let the child starve. Well, then why did the child starve to death? Bro, it's because people were disobedient and so why didn't God, God feed the baby? Do. Why didn't God? The, 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 the five-year-old was praying directly to God. God, I'm starving. I'm in pain. I'm going to pass away today. Mm -hmm. I have not eaten in weeks. I'm starving. Please feed me. Did, did, did the baby eat? No, the baby died that night. The baby passed okay. away of starvation that night. And you're telling me God answered that baby's prayer. So let's look at, look, look at you're, both You're sides. telling me God answered that baby's prayer. Let's look at both sides of this. Okay, sir, like this. sir, the baby that starved to death last night, because and and this baby was praying to God, I want to eat, I'm starving, please feed me. You're telling me that, that, God, that your God answered that baby's prayer. Yes, I'm going to answer your question. Even though, the even though the baby starved to death last night. I'm going to answer your question. All right. Well, so you're just, I'm not, so, this is ridiculous. That's fucking ridiculous. Uh, it, like, the baby was praying to God, I'm going to pass away tonight. I'm starving. Please feed me. The, baby's, the baby passed away from starvation last night, and you're going to fucking sit there and tell me God answered that baby's prayer? That's fucking ridiculous. Hello. Hello. All right. So the point that was made about the baby and all these things about you know um, the baby dying, like I believe that death is not the end. When this baby dies, this baby will go to heaven and enjoy. How do you know the that? Things. Pardon? How do you know the baby's gonna go to heaven? Because babies don't sin as they're born. How do you know babies go to heaven? Because babies don't sin. What sin has a baby committed? So how so, do you know that babies go to heaven? Because babies don't sin. Tell me which sin a baby has committed. If, 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 if babies don't sin, then why does God command that they be unalived? He doesn't command that. Where does he command that? In 1 Samuel 15.3. And what did he say? He said to go and unalive the Malachite babies. Well, that's the punishment for the people. But the babies were innocent. Yes, the babies were killed. Yes, but they still did. So, good to so why did he? Innocent. Why did he? Why did he unalive innocent babies? He didn't unalive. Well, babies still have the kingdom of God. How do you know the babies go to heaven? Because they didn't sin. So then, why did God kill them then if they didn't sin? Because the people were disobedient to God. Is that justice to punish innocent babies for the crimes their parents did? Well, at least the babies are resting now in the kingdom of How heaven. How do you know they go to heaven? You don't know that. I do. How do you know that? Because they don't sin. So what? That's not an answer to my question. How do you that know is. that how do you know that sinless babies go to heaven? 
because they do not sin. That's the question. That's the answer I'm trying to say to your questions. Mm -hmm. Since babies do not sin, babies do not have a conscious. If they were sinless, we, why did God ha punish them? He didn't punish them. Baby why did he them. unalive them? Because the people were being disobedient to him. Why did God That's punish what? the babies for what their parents did? Well, for punishment to their parents, because their parents didn't listen to him. Fucking ridiculous. Just going in circles. Imagine, imagine like b being totally okay with that. The babies die. Babies go to heaven, so it's okay that they die. <clears throat> Good evening. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Hello, plant, Hello, plant future? future? Hello? There's a, there's a bad there's echo. A bad Are you using echo. Bluetooth? Bluetooth? Is that, is that Hello? better? Hello? Is that better? Yeah. Um, firstly, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm gonna, I'll just take 10 seconds. I just wanna say one thing. When, okay. when people are saying, they're trying to use the baby excuse. They're trying to say, oh, the guy before was saying, oh, I, I'm allowed to pray for like my dream girl, but a baby isn't allowed to pray for food. That's, right. that's, the, that's the, hypocr the, the hypocrisy of what's going on. Yeah, and, and also he, he said that even though, the, even though the baby starved to death last night, that the baby's prayer was still, ans was still answered. Yeah, I mean that's 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 sick. That's that's, yeah. that's not cool. It is. But yeah, it's just like they're 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 happy to pray for whatever they want, but they're not allowed. They're not allowing the baby to pray for what to, for what it needs. So it's it's wrong. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Thanks. Appreciate you. Take care. You too. All right, guys, keep spamming those likes, everyone. Double tap that screen. Click the follow button. Share their live days. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts, Benny. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts, guys. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much, guys, for the gifts. Champ, what do you want? What do you want, champ? What do you want, champ? What do you want? What do you want, champ? Hey, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, how you doing? What's up, what's up? So what's the question? Uh, well, it's not really a question, it's a statement. Like, your perfect God made you to sin. Do you disagree? Of course I disagree. Okay, so if God didn't make us to sin, how is it that we sin? Because you choose sin, it's a choice. Do you know what the definition of sin is according to the Bible? Um, choosing, not choosing God? Nope. Nope. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Sorry. Yeah, no, sin, is, sin is transgression of the law. And also it says, to him that knows what to do and does not do it, to him it is sin. So if you know lying is wrong and you do it, you're in sin. If you don't know lying is wrong and you do it, you're not in sin. But since you know it's wrong, you're in sin. Okay. So if God intended us to not sin, how is it that we sin? Because it gives you free will to sin. Because you choose your sin. So, Did you hear what I said? So give me Wait. the book, chapter, and verse for free will. Pastor Buster Cherry. Hey, hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, do you do you believe God can allow you to choose? Give me the book, chapter and verse where God tells you you have free will. Does free will include choice? I want the I want the verse where God tells you you have free will. Whoa, that's a cool hat. The word free will is not found in the Bible. That doesn't mean the definition of free will isn't found in the so Bible. So how do you know you have free will from God if it's not in the Bible? 
because he gives us the freedom to choose. What's the definition of free will? Not every single word you're going to find in the Bible. That's just picking and choosing. So answer my well, question. Well, I mean, obviously it might not be in there, but you're telling me there's no scripture in there that would even refer to God giving you free will? Well, there is. That's what I'm asking you for your what definition. What is it? Because your definition can be different from my definition. So what do you mean? I was going to ask you again. Do you agree that God... I don't God necessarily... I don't think you have free will if God's all-knowing. Well, that's your opinion. Well, let's go with the Bible. If, you is, God, God is, God all know, is God all-knowing? Yeah, of course he knows everything there is to be known. So is God's knowledge perfect? Of course it's perfect. So if God knows... Well, if you're, God's, like a, you're, you're uh, dodging my question, though. Oh, you, what, you want me to define free will? No, I was asking you, what do you mean by... Do you agree that God allows choice? You still haven't answered my question. I don't believe that God exists, so I don't know. Well, then why are you bringing up a God argument if you don't believe God exists? That's inconsistent. Uh, well, I can talk about God, even though I don't think God's real. Then you're being inconsistent. No, I don't believe Harry Potter's real, but people like to talk about Harry Potter. Yeah, but then if I'm asking you a question about God, and I ask you a question about God in my own context, and you don't answer the question regarding God, you're being I, inconsistent. I don't know if God... I, I don't know... I, I can't answer the question about what you're asking me about God because I don't believe in, the, in God. So I don't know. Because you believe, be, because you believe in this, right? So I'm questioning you. Obviously, I believe in it, but yeah. So here. what's your issue? Did you, did you did you you just come up here to cry and complain or what? No, you're the one crying. For oh, me, let me get understand. the little violin for him, guys. He's crying. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, no need to, you know. Let me get the little violin for him. Listen, listen. Answer my question. So if you want to ask a question <laughs> regarding God. And I answer the question. What's, what's your question? God. What's the question? What's the question? Oh, let me say it for the sixth time. Maybe you didn't hear me. Do you believe the God of the Bible allows for choice? I don't know. You don't, don't think, know? I don't think he says anywhere in the Bible that he gives you free will. Okay, hear my question again. Maybe you didn't hear me. Do you believe the God of the Bible allows choice? Do you know what the word choice means? Do you know what choice is? Yeah, you can choose things. Okay, so do you believe that? Um... If, if you believe that your God is all-knowing, then no, I don't believe you have free will. You're still dodging my question. Well, Do you believe that the it, God of the Bible... It depends on what your God is. Give you choice. It, yes, is, your, no. is your God all-knowing? Are you going to answer my question? Yes. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Okay, it, if, if we're going on the definition of your God, the definition... But you're still dodging the qu you're still dodging no, my I'm, question. No, I'm, I'm literally answering it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm literally in, in the process of answering it right answer, now. Well, I want to answer with a yes or no so I can get to the point. It's, it's, Do you believe it's, God allows for choice? Yeah, if God is all-knowing, then no. Yes, is that what you said? Yes. If God is all-knowing, then no. Wait, then you're contradicting the Bible. No, because if your God is all-knowing, then I don't believe you have choices. No, again, you're going on your opinion. I'm going based on the Bible that you brought up. Do you believe the God of the Bible allows for choice? If the God of the Bible is all-knowing, then no. So you contradict the Bible because the God of the Bible does allow for choice. Well, if, if God is all-knowing, can you choose the opposite of what he knows? Of course, he, of course you can. So God could be wrong about what he knows? Of course not. Then you can't choose the opposite of what God knows. So you don't have choice. If God is all-knowing, yes, you yeah. I, if your God is all-knowing, hey, I don't... Hold on, hold on. I, That's your opinion. Yes, you can, according to the God of the Bible. Okay, explain to me how you can turn left if God knows you're going to turn right. God knows all possible avenues of what you're going to take. You're making a presumption of... So you can't turn left, can you? Yes, you can. So God can be wrong about what he knows? No, that's your according to your God. According to the God of the Bible, he knows all possible God, outcomes of choices God, you can choose. God knows you're going to turn left, and God can never be wrong about what he knows. So can you freely choose, can you freely choose to turn right and make God wrong about what he knows, or do you have to turn left? Poor knowledge does not equal causation. Okay, explain to me how you can turn right if God knows you're going to turn left. What, does foreknowledge equal causation? Yes. How? Because if God knows you're going to turn left, you can't turn right. So that's like you saying that if someone watches a movie, for example, and a person does um, a certain thing they're going to do in the movie, therefore the person who is watching the movie determined what's going to happen in the movie, according to no, you. No, because that person did not make the movie. They're just so thank, you for movie. Making, thank you for making my choice. God thank made everything. God yeah, made the movie. Every, oh, hold yeah. on. The person can watch and, the movie. And the person who's watching the movie does not have perfect knowledge like God does. That doesn't imply causation. There's too well, much in my point. You still have failed to explain to me how if God knows you're going to turn left. You still have failed to answer my question regarding the Bible. We've got I, a lot I, of choice. I did answer it. You said, no, you, you said, you no, said no, you does God give you choice? And I'm yes. telling you that if God is all knowing. According then no, to the Bible, you're dodging my question again. According to the Bible, does God give you choice? Yes or no? So I can give you your answer. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't, don't know? Reading. Do you I don't know? remember reading. Do you know? 
I don't remember reading a verse where God tells you you have okay, choices. Open your Bible. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts, guys. Sorry. We can't, we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, open your Bible. We can't hear you. We can't open, hear you. Open your Bible to Joshua twenty four fifteen. <clears throat> and people who said I'm running in the chat, come come up here so I can show you who's running for real. Joshua, what? Twenty four fifteen. Twenty two four. Twenty four verse fifteen. Okay. Hey, atheist, if you don't repent, you're going to burn in hell, by the way, just to let y'all know. Yeah, laugh it up. They're not going to be laughing in hell. But yeah, um, can you read your, um, uh, yeah this, isn't, this isn't God speaking. I asked you for the verse where God tells you you have choices. Is it the Bible? Huh? Is it the Bible? Yeah, but I asked you for the verse where God tells you you have choices, and this is not well, God speaking. Listen, listen, listen. Is it the Bible, though? Yeah, it's the Bible. Does the Bible claim to be the inspired word of God? I don't know. Well, go to another verse. I'll show you where the Bible seems going to run away from that point. We can... Well, give me a verse where God tells you you have choices. I'm giving you the verse, but you this claim is not to God be speaking. That's not true. So that's why I this asked is... you. That's why I asked See, you. Made that point. This is not God. So that's why I'm I mean, I'll, I'll, Wait, I've, I've on, read, on, I've read this. I want, to, I want to clear up that point because I hate when people jump around. You made a point. I've read this verse, and, and this is not God speaking. And also, this verse is telling you that you must do something. It's not telling you you have a choice. Yes, it does. Read it. No, it says you must do this. It's read not a the choice. Verse. Read the entire verse. But maybe you don't want to serve the Lord. You must choose for yourself today. Today, you must decide you will serve. You will serve God so that your ancestors were. Does it say choose? It says you must do something. It's not giving you the choice. Does it give a choice? It's telling choose? you that you must do something. That's not choose choice. Mean? What does choose mean? This is not free choice. This is telling you that you must do something. This is the opposite of choice. If, so, if you tell somebody that they must do something, that's the opposite of choice. But maybe you don't want to serve the Lord. You must choose for yourself today. You must decide. You will serve the Lord. Must. You're not answering my question. Where do you see must? But maybe you don't want to serve the Lord. You must choose for yourself today. Today you must decide who you will what, serve. What kind of you will. You will serve the gods what that your ancestor. Are you reading? Oh, it doesn't matter because the Bible's the inspired no, it word matter. of God, right? It doesn't matter. Oh, because oh the Bible, people. the Bible's the inspired word of God, though, right? Yes, it is. Of course, it is. Yeah, so it doesn't fucking matter what Bible I'm reading. No, it does matter. Stop swearing. Also, it, oh, but the Bible is the Bible's the inspired fucking word of God, right? Yes, it can. So yes, it doesn't it fucking is. matter what Bible I'm reading, yeah, does it? It does matter because fools <laughs> like you can come and make translation and say nonsense. So, so, so the Bible. Hey, guys, the guys, the Bible is the. The Bible is the inspired word of God, it but it matters what Bi but it matters what Bible you read, though. It does matter because fools like you can make translations that are not accurate to the word that was used in so the day. So, if the Bible is the inspired word of God, what does it matter what Bible I'm reading from? Because fools, okay, I'm asking you a question. Because fools like you can come up and make things that don't exist in the original text, which was Hebrew, which is the so Old Testament. Which, it's not which 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 translation would you like me to read? Hello? Can you stop? Like, can you stop leaving the app? Because we can't hear you. You can read the New King James, New King James Version. What, what translation do you read? Which translation do you trust? Bro, you can read the New King James Version. You can read the NIV. You can read the NLT. Which, Just one, which one would you like? You pick one. I want the one. I want to read the one that you read. So that you so that we can so you can trust what it is, what that what it says. Okay, uh, for everybody in the chest so they can you know, hear something nice. Uh, the NIV. All right, NIV. Let's see what the NIV says. Mm -hmm. Read it, read it. Don't say must, not. Now to the verses. The NIV says... Now fear the Lord and serve him with all faith, faithfulness. Throw away the gods your ancestors worshipped beyond the Euphrates River. 
Uh, oh, 15. Oh, 15, oh, 15, sorry. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. All right, amen. So now did the person tell you to choose, yes or no? This is a per what do I care about what a person says? Is it I asked the you for whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Is I asked you for oh, oh, now it oh, well, now it matters if it's the Bible or not. I thought it, I thought it yeah, didn't matter. Wait, wait, wait. Are well, you saying it doesn't? A second wait, ago, you said a second ago, I, 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 I literally just wait, read. I was reading the Bible, and you said you didn't like it. Of atheism, you put a sir, banner of the I, Holy Bible, and I quote you the Holy Bible. I know hey, you're running. I was the reading Bible. the Bible, and you said you didn't like that. When did I say I didn't like it? You said, oh, I don't trust that one. That's a, that's the wrong one, even though the Bible no, is inspired word that. of God. I didn't say that you're lying. I said, that I said, what translation are you reading? And then you didn't answer me. And then you told me. So, okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the um, I'm going to go back to the first one. Because I'm misrepresenting. I'm going to go back way. to the I'm going to go back to the first one. I read because I like that one better well, because it's a false translation. Tell me the translation. Oh, but it's the, but it's the Bible, though, sir. Yeah. Well, anyone it's the can Bible. Translate. You see what you see what you're doing here? You like you're you are wait, cherry picking. Wait, you what I said. I said anyone, including you, can be a fool and mistranslate the Bible. That's why we have the Queen James Bible, who's for you know sodomites or LGBT people who want to twist the word of God. All right, now you're just being a hateful Christian. Repent. Rep now you're just being a hateful Christian. <laughs> hateful Christian. Why are you guys so hateful? Why are you guys? Why so you hateful? guys so hateful? Yeah, why, yeah. Are you? Why are you What's Christians? Up, why are you Christians so hateful, dude? Whoa! Why are you putting all Christians under under? One you person? you are hateful. You are hateful. You told me you'd rather throw a baby off of a building so that you can party with it in heaven. Hey, look. Wait. I'll be right back. Uh, give me a second. I gotta take a call. <laughs> I have that video on my profile, guys, by the way. AP, AP10, he said he would rather throw a baby off of a building instead of blasphemy God. Because that way he could party in heaven with the baby. Uh, hello. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I read the, um, I have like that NKJV. Is it true? This Bible is closer to God? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't think God exists, so I don't know, sir. Uh I think he exists. Okay. Um do you disagree with this statement here? Your per you, your perfect God makes you sin. Uh made you to sin. He made you to sin. No, I don't I don't think so. Does he? So if God designed you to not sin, how do you, how is it that we sin? Because we fall, we fall short, right? We, then God, not, then God's not perfect, because God is a perfect. God's perfect, so His creation would be perfect. Oh yes, that's true. He, the Adam he's and a, Eve story, right? He's a he's a perfect creator, so His yes. creation would be perfect. Yes, hey, Adam Adam and Eve, right? They 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 um, Eve ate the apple and he gave it to Adam, and they both fall. And they got kicked out of the garden. Yeah, but how did how did Adam and Eve fail if they were perfect? Because God God said not to eat of the the tree of the good and evil, right? The knowledge of good and evil. Yeah, but and Adam and Eve were perfect, so how did they fail? They failed because they didn't listen to God's command. They yeah. they disobeyed him. How does a perfect being disobey? God? How does a perfect being make the wrong decision? I think I just imagine like a father, like this be, being a father to a... Uh... <sighs> Keep spamming those likes, guys. Share the live, everybody. Click the follow button. Guys, go subscribe to my YouTube if you want to watch the full live stream. those likes, guys. Hey, what's up, man? Hello? Hey, what's up? So, uh, I do believe in God, but I... I'm having a hard time understanding. So your perfect God made you sin. What makes you think he made us sin? It says your perfect God made you to sin. Made us to sin? Um, 
I disagree. I mean, he definitely gave us the choice and option to, but I think it's a test. The same well, as like... Did God intend for us to sin? I don't think he intended. No. So, like just as, so, we, but, a, so but we sin, so God's intentions failed, which means he's not perfect. No, that's not what that means at all. I mean, it's like if I have my kids right now, I can choose to let but, them. But you're not perfect, though. What does that have to do with me having the ability to choose and interfering with their decisions? Well, like you're not like the the designer of like their 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 um their plan, like their destiny. Like God is a perfect creator, and which means that His creation would be perfect, right? But if His creation was perfect, how did it fail? That's my whole point. How did we fail? Yeah, if we were perfect, how did we fail? Well, like I said, man, I mean, it, it's it's a test. You're, you're given free will. If to God is test, if God's if God's testing you, then He's not all knowing. That's not what that means at all. And all, and all. and all knowing God would not need to test you because He already knows the results. There's no purpose for a test if He's if He's all knowing. I I don't agree with that necessarily. But. Why would an all go? Why would an all knowing being need to test you? Why would it not? I mean, to me, it's just He He already knows what's going to happen, right? So, what's the purpose of the test? I mean, there's a bunch of different. ways that it could turn out regardless you're right he still knows what the end result is but yeah so if he knows what the end result is what's the purpose for the test unless Fair. he doesn't unless he doesn't know which would make him not all-knowing mm, and if god I is a perfect that could be it if god is a perfect creator how did he create something that was imperfect Uh, again, I don't think that that's uh, yeah. You could so easily just make something that's perfect, but then I guess what's what's the point of that? God is God is perfect, right? God is perfect. Yeah, we are made what, in His image. What, would He desire imperfection? I don't know. I think we. I think if we knew for absolute certainty that He did exist, then there you wouldn't sin. You would choose to just do good because you know what's coming at the end. That's that's the whole purpose of kind of just leaving it as a somewhat mystery, but enough plausible deniability for it to be true or not true. But because right, so there's no concrete well, evidence, of course, you're going to choose to do what you want, not what you should do. So what's your best explanation for if God didn't design us to sin, why do we sin? I don't know. Why, why do you sin? I don't sin. I'm sinless. So you're perfect. No, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I do bad things, but I don't believe in sin. Sin only only applies to the religious. Sin is okay, just a religious. So. Sin is just a religious concept. All right. Well, then let's just take the idea of concepts out of the picture. You do bad things. Why? I've done bad things before. Yeah. Why? I'm not perfect. <laughs> so. I don't know. Do you have any proof that he doesn't exist? Well, it, that's uh, that's your job. That's, it's not my job. It's my job to believe. Just as just as I can feel. I'm not air, making any positive claims. It. I'm, I'm not making any. I'm not making. Was that your perfect God made you to sin? That's that's a statement that you're saying that you believe to be a fact. So yeah, that's not. Proof? But it has nothing. That's has nothing to do with me saying that God doesn't exist. I never said God doesn't exist. You're, you're saying God exists, so the burden of proof is on you. So then why are you disagreeing with me if you, if it, it just, it sounds hypocritical if I'm being honest. What? What are you talking about? How am I being a hypocrite? Because you're saying you never said that he doesn't exist. I'm not, con I'm not convinced that you're. on why he does exist. So what's the purpose? No, of that? you just you you just said prove it doesn't exist. I never said he doesn't exist. I'm just not convinced that he exists. So you're trying to like place the burden of proof on me. It's on you. You believe he exists. You're making the positive statement that God is in fact real. So it would be your job to prove it. It's not my job to prove he's not real. Number one, I never said he wasn't real. I just said I'm not convinced that he's real. So I'm, how, I don't understand how I'm being a hypocrite. Okay, have you made an attempt to see if, if you... I guess could believe in him potentially. Have you ever been to church? Have you ever read the Bible? Yeah, have I've been ever... to church and I've read the Bible. Okay. Yeah, have you done any history on 
you know, just biblical times. I mean, like, what's your opinion? What's your take on all that? Are you, are you trying to prove the, exis the existence of God to me right now? No, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm oh, okay. trying to see where yeah. all this stems from and what made you. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, not, I'm just not convinced, sir. It's not something you choose. You can't just flick a switch and choose to be convinced of something or choose to believe something. It, it just, you're convinced that God is real. Uh, I'm not. That's not something that I can just flick a switch and, and do. You don't choose your beliefs. You don't choose your convictions. I think you can. But then okay, that's a whole stop, other stop believing in God right now. I did, actually, at the age of 16. No, right now, I want, you to, I want you to be unconvinced that God is not real. I want you to be an atheist right now. Do it. There would have to be enough right reason for me to feel that way. Exactly, right? You don't just make it happen. You don't just do it. You don't just flick a switch and do it. So you don't, you're not, you can't choose it. You either are convinced that it's real or you're not. I understand that. And at this moment, you backtrack at, your history uh, for me. So that way I can see what it is that I'm shooting at. Otherwise, I'm just shooting at I've been at the to church. I've read the Bible. What more do you need to know? I've prayed. And what part of it wasn't convincing? There, the, the part in the Bible, what part of the Bible was not convincing? Just the entire thing, the existence or potential existence of God. What was it? I'm not convinced. Not I'm not convinced that the supernatural exists because of the lack of evidence for it. But if there was more evidence, that's my, my point. Don't you feel that it would be concrete enough for people to believe that now there is indeed a God? And I, so I don't know what should just choose to do good. I don't know what the evidence would be. I don't know. It, it's, I, don't, I, couldn't, I can't tell you what your evidence of your God would be. Interesting. Well, I mean, that's... I don't know what else to say, man. You know, you're... I don't know what it would take. I don't know if you've ever had like a near-death experience, maybe anything like that in your life. That's truly what convinced me otherwise, because at one point I didn't believe in it. I'd given up on it. I'm like, truly there is no such thing. What part of what, what, what part of your near-death experience led you to the conclusion that the Christian God is real? Um, not necessarily Christian God. I mean, I still believe that there's an ultimate high power being. Um, but at one point, I did experience being surrounded with two entities that I had just like a ghastly figure to them. They were communicating to me through like telepathy and kind of just let me know like, hey, you're going to be OK. But you're not is supposed it, to be. Is it that. possible that these were all just chemical reactions in your brain happening from a from a, a traumatic brain experience or losing consciousness? My heart did stop, so I mean, I'm not ruling that out either. But my yeah, intuition, so, my gut so told me. So we have better, we have better, we have better, we have better natural, logical explanations for what you're for what you've just experienced, as opposed to saying, uh, well, it was it was God. It just automatically assuming it was God. We have better logical, natural um, ex explanations for what that was. Sometimes you just have a feeling, man. I'm sure you you can relate to that with a bunch of different things. You just have a gut feeling. Just like I, I, understand, I understand that, but res respectfully, feelings is not going to be evidence or proof. No, but intuition is a real thing. Just like red flags and dating people, you just know there's a sign of something that you probably should or shouldn't pursue. And that's the gut that I followed. And ever since then, coincidentally, my life has completely changed around for the better. Now, maybe... Well, that's, I'm, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. Yeah, and maybe that does. Maybe you're right. Maybe that doesn't validate... The I still don't understand good. how you know it's the right. Christian God, though. Uh, I never said that I have thought it was the Christian God. I just said that there's definitely oh. something beyond this that I, I felt. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. You believe in God, but you don't really know if it's the Christian God. Right, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Right. Have you heard anything convincing from anybody else who's been on here? This is my first, like, I was on here for like five minutes before you let me on. No, I have not really heard anything that would convince me that... The, that God, Christian God, or like anything supernatural would exist. Do you believe in at least trying to be a good person? Yeah, sure. Okay, so like that, I can respect then. Like at the end of the day, it, it just seems like more people who don't believe, and this is just in my experience, it's very few who I've actually even had a conversation with, choose to consciously do bad while not believing in a God. And that's just where I'm like, I can't get behind that. But if you still, you know, believe in morals and values and try to do your best at just being a good person as much as you can, like, I can respect that. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what, what source you'd be able to look at to demonstrate that m more people who don't believe in God are actually, like, like worse people. I don't really know how you would determine that, but... So, all right. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate it.
Yep, appreciate you, dude. Yeah, no problem. Um, someone in the comments is saying, "Let me in," but I don't, I don't see you in the guest requests. J J Hohan, J Hohan, you don't have enough followers. <clears throat> you don't have enough followers. You gotta have, you gotta have at least two hundred followers to send a guest request. Good afternoon. Good evening. How you doing? Doing well, my friend. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's great. So um, I'm reading. It says your your perfect God made you to sin. All right. We're speaking about our our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Is that what we're speaking about? About our God? Yeah, I'm talking about the Christian God. Yeah. Okay, my Christian God. Because I'm a Christian, I'm gonna tell you that. Um, okay. Well, um, I want you to explain to me why do you feel that way? Because if God is perfect, I'm, I'm sure you would you would you believe that God is perfect, like a perfect creator. Right, He is perfect. Go ahead. Yeah, so a, a perfect creator would create perf perfection, not imperfection. Whatever, if God is a perfect creator, His creation would be perfect. So if His creation was perfect, how did we sin? How did we fall away? Unless God designed us to do, to be that way, unless God designed us to sin. And if that's the case, if God did design us to sin, why does He punish you for sin? All right. And that's your take on it, uh, of uh, you know. All right. So, in the word of the Lord reads why do we why why do we sin we're natural born sinners so god made us that way we came we came that way because adam and eve fell in the eden garden my friend yeah so did god make adam and eve to sin no they sinned on their own you see they had free will now right, right. No, but god if, if god if god way didn't way. if god didn't make them to sin how is it possible that they sinned if god made them perfect and sinless how is it possible that they sinned? Oh, because of the devil, Satan, Lucifer. Yeah, and God he created tempted. the devil. God created the devil, knowing right. that. He, but you God, have to but so you have God, to God is God is Satan responsible for all of this. Right, Satan was cast out of, of heaven because of what pride, and here and 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 it was Satan and his third of the angels fell to the earth. You have to understand when he was cast out of heaven because of pride and and, and rebellious to God. He created all, you know, everything that's even wicked and abomination and lawlessness in this in this world, beloved. And so he has, the Bible says he has many tra traps, snares, he has devices. He, he, he has, there's religion too as well he created. Um, but you have to understand that Satan is the God of this world. The word of God says. Um, can, we, can we get back on topic a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm. We're. I'm being. I'm just telling you. You're what, kind of preaching a little bit. Well, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm preaching, but at the same time, I'm letting you know the truth. Yeah. Now, so let's get back to Adam and Eve. Did Did go God ahead. make Did God make Adam and Eve perfect? God made them Ad, Adam and Eve perfect. Yes. So how is it possible that a perfect being failed? Because, you see, God gives you free will. You could God have could God have created a universe where Adam and Eve have free will, but they never choose sin? Well, yeah, I mean, yes, I mean, he did, but he has created a perfect world. You know, everything that he's created. If, is God's, if God, God says if, 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 if Adam and Eve were perfect, how did they make the imperfect choice? By their free will, my friend. Satan. I know. Is, I, I understand, I understand what you're saying. Uh, of, I, I understand what you're saying, but a, a perfect uh, Adam and Eve were perfect. So how did they make a perfect? Uh, how did they make a bad choice, a wrong decision? A perfect being would not choose the wrong decision. A perfect being is always perfect, only chooses the right things. The temptation that the devil. So how could a perfect being be tempted? By the devil, by Satan, Lucifer. There but a perfect, a per a sir, they're perfect. Together. They're perfect. They would not make mistakes. They would not be tempted. No, beloved. They would not make mistakes. No, beloved. You have the, you have, if you want to sin, you could sin. God gives you free will. He's not going to force <laughs> his power. He's not going to force his word a upon perfect you. being, is sin, is sin imperfect? 
sin is 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 not good. It's in your life. You sin. So how would Adam and Eve, who were perfect, why would they desire imperfection? Why would they desire to sin? They wouldn't desire to sin. They wouldn't choose sin. They because wouldn't. Satan, Lucifer, is the tempter. Uh, they would not be able to be tricked, sir, because they're perfect. Sir, they 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 fell because of temptation. How does a perfect being fall to temptation? You fall. We all I'm not, fall. I'm not perfect. Beloved, well, no one's perfect. But, but you Adam know, and Eve were perfect. Adam we and can Eve, be perfect by the Holy Spirit. Sir, Adam and Eve were perfect. So how did they fall into temptation? How did they make a mistake if they were perfect? By the devil. Temptation. How did they make a mistake if they were perfect? I'm letting you know, sir. How were they tricked? Tempted. How did how, how did perfect being be tricked by the devil? Devil, the devil is of is a, is very trick, tricky, and he has a, he's very crafty. The Bible this, says. And so you what it sounds like what it what it sounds like is that Adam and Eve were not perfect. They were perfect when they were created, but they had free will to choose what was right and what was wrong. And a perfect being would always choose right, not wrong. Right, and so why don't we choose right then? Because we're not why perfect. Why do we choose wrong? Because there's two. There's two. There's we're not the, perfect. There's there's God and the devil. So God is all sir, perfect. And no Adam one. and Eve, you're getting off topic. You're no, getting I'm off not, topic. I'm, I'm Adam and know. Eve were perfect. So how did they make an imperfect decision? By the free will. Sir, I know they have choices. I know they have By free the will. temptation of the devil. Stop. Listen. I know. No, I, 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 I understand you, what I'm, you're saying. I'm coming I, to you in love and I'm coming hey, with a peace. Relax. I'm not going to argue or fight with you or debate with you. I'm letting you know. How it had came to be because of Satan. Lucifer is the tempter okay. of this world. He's the God of this okay. world. Beloved. Okay, stop preaching, please. Okay, listen, I understand Adam and Eve had free will. They had choice, right? That's but they, right. Were, they were perfect. How did these perfect beings choose the wrong choice that would lead to sin? Because of the trickery. How, okay, but how, but, how but, were but the how, they were Satan perfect though with the word of God and how he twists the scripture? Sir, you're, you're not understanding. How, yes, how could I am. I'm understanding completely. How could something brother. that's perfect be tricked, brother? It's called temptation. How could something that's perfect be tricked into temptation into leading into choosing the wrong decision that would lead to sin? How could a perfect being make so many mistakes? It's more logical that they weren't perfect. That would make sense if they weren't perfect. And then it would make sense perfect. that they. In God's eyes, they walk in the Eden Garden. If if God if God commanded, made God commanded them not to take to eat of the tree of the, uh, good and evil, yeah, they disobeyed and, God. Why? Because the devil tripped them. How does a perfect That's being? Exactly how does a perfect being disobey? How does a perfect? How does a perfect being disobey a command from God and allow themselves to be tricked and tempted into sin? If they were perfect, they would not have done any of those things. The devil is the trickery of the world, beloved. You can't, you cannot try to throw, you can't, I'm sorry, I'm not Sir, blunt, is, is, is God perfect? To, you can't back me in the corner, beloved, because I'm taught by God and the Holy Sir, Spirit. Sir, is God, is God, God is perfect. Can God be tricked? Go, God cannot be tricked. God sees everything. Why, why can't God be tricked? Is it because he's perfect? Yeah, he's perfect. He's all So if Adam and Eve were perfect, how are they tricked? Because of the devil. Because of tradition. But, okay, God is perfect. Can God be tricked by the devil? No, because God why created can't Why can't God, why can't God, why can't God be tricked by the devil? Is it because, is it because God's perfect? Yes, because he's perfect. Okay, Adam and Eve are perfect. Can they be tricked by the devil? But you have to understand it. Right, you're, you're, not, you're just you're just you're being disingenuous right now. You're not no, being, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're not even you're not even tracking to the logic. You're just but 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 the devil, but 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 free will, but 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 Satan. If God is perfect and he can't be tricked by Satan, then if Adam and Eve were perfect, they can't be tricked by Satan. How does a perfect being fail? How does a perfect being make a mistake? How does a perfect being get tricked into temptation? How does a perfect being make mistakes? How does a perfect being disobey God? It's more likely that they weren't perfect. If they weren't perfect, all of that would make sense. But if you believe Adam and Eve were perfect, how did they fail? How did they make a mistake? How did they disobey? How were they tricked? How were they led into temptation? How did they sin? A perfect being would not do any of those things. A perfect being would not do any of those things. This is just logic. All right, guys, I got time for one more guest here. 
appreciate y'all hanging out here though appreciate y'all watching click that follow button guys and, and uh subscribe to my youtube if you want to watch the the full live streams i got all my live streams on there the link is in the bio to my youtube hello can you hear me yeah i hear you um uh, do you believe in god no i'm not convinced that god is real so that's a no i'm sorry so that's a no yeah i'm not convinced that god is real i don't believe he's real well why are you why are you on here fussing about him then? because i like to talk about religion well you said i didn't know god so why are you fussing about it can you speak up a little bit you said i wouldn't know god why are you fussing about him then? uh well just because you don't believe in something doesn't mean that you can't talk about it well if there wasn't no god or nothing in your mind you shouldn't be even fussing about it if it's what? religious or what you What's said you didn't believe in god so did, would you like to have a conversation or did you come here to cry no i want to know why you fussing about and it and get the little violin for him if you don't believe in god why are you fussing about it there's a little violin for you just explain it to me. Here you go, you little cry baby. Tiny little violin for you. Now, would you like to have a discussion? You done crying? Now again, why are you fussing about God if you don't believe in God? Do you disagree with this? Do you disagree with this? Sir, I'm not fussing about God. I'm discussing yes, God. Yes, you are. You are fussing with people about hey, it. Hey, hey, I'd like to, I'd like to engage. To to you, and you fussing about it. But you listen, don't believe in God. Listen, will you please relax and wipe your tears? I'm, I'm, hey, I'm good. Wipe your tears and let's have a discussion. I'm just trying to ask you a question. I want you to give me an answer. I am, I am dis God, I'm discussing God. Why do you fuss with people about it? I am discussing people. I'm discussing God with people. Would you like to have a discussion with me? About, about what? About who? Let's get to the topic here. Here's about the topic. Who? who are you fussing about? Is Sir, about I'm, God? I'm talking with people who believe in God. God. I'm I'm talking with people who believe in God. You said you don't believe in God, though. Yes, that's true. Okay. Now, but I, I I'm talking man, with people who do believe in God. Talking, why are you talking to people about God then if you don't believe in it? So, do you believe in, uh, um, like, what's your favorite movie, sir? Answer my question. I did already. No, you didn't. Yes, I am. I, even though I don't believe in God, I still like to talk to people who do believe in God. That's it. That's simple as that. Now, would you like to have but, a discussion? But you said it wasn't a God. Yeah, there, I don't believe in God, but I That's still right. like to. Okay, so why do you want to talk to him about it? Because why are you I like coming to... on TikTok, want to talk with somebody about it. Because if I like to have in discussions. God. Hey, can we talk about this topic here? Just no. I want you to tell me. Bob, you're still, you you're still crying. Here. You're still you crying. Listen, hey, listen. Either you, you engage. Like you want to cry, sir? Either you engage in a conversation. A again. Listen, w listen, will you engage in a conversation with me or I'm just going to move on to the next guest? Okay? I just want to know why you fussing with people about God if you don't believe in him. I like to talk you to people. You said you don't believe in God. Can I answer? Can I answer? Am I, am I, allowed, to, am I allowed to answer, sir? Okay, go ahead. Okay. I like to talk to people who believe in God. Okay. I, I don't you said I, you didn't believe in God, though. Yeah, but that's irrelevant. I still like to talk to people who do. <laughs> is that okay you with you? You ain't, you ain't understanding, are you? Is it okay with you that I talk to people who don't believe in God? You're saying there's no God. Why Prove God. Prove God's real. God? Prove God's real. Prove your little magic sky. Your little magic sky man's real. I ain't gonna prove nothing to you. Well, then shut the fuck up and I stop crying. Shut the fuck up and stop crying. Shut the fuck up God. and stop crying. If you don't want to prove you're God, then, then you have no ground to tell, to tell me that I can't fucking talk about your little magical man. If but you can't me. prove that your little magical you man is real, no God. prove, prove you your little magic you man's real. No God. Pro prove your little magic man is real. Hey, do you tell me you said that? Yeah, you yeah said your God's not you real. God. 
Yeah, pr- prove to me he's real. Maybe you I will. You don't hear him fuss about, about it. I saw Sir. you do cry. You get on here and cry about a God that you don't believe in. Would you like to so have an actual... So about it for? Would you like to have an actual conversation now, sir? I just asked you a question. How old are you? If you don't believe in God, why do you come on here for? Him? Well, I don't believe in God. People. I don't believe in God, but I like talking to people who believe in God because maybe I could get some answers and maybe but I could one day believe, believe in God, though. Yeah, but maybe if I talk to people, if I talk to enough people who believe in God, maybe I can get some answers. And, but you and don't maybe believe it, in God. Maybe if I will God believe in God. If God the face three or four times, you still won't believe, would you? If, no, if God appeared to me and slapped me in the face, I would believe in him. No, he ain't got to appear to you. If What? He ain't got to appear to you. He just slapped the piss out of you. How would I know you it was God? You don't see him. Would you believe how, that? How would I know it was God, though? Hey, who would it be then? I, if I can't see who it was, how do I know you it was God? You can't see who it was. Yeah, like, how do I know it wasn't a ghost? The floor. See what I'm talking about? How do I know it wasn't a ghost? You don't believe in God, but you want to fuss about it. Well, I, I, I'm wondering if I talk to enough people oh, who believe in God. Oh, now we're talking about ghosts. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, like, if somebody slapped me in the face, how do I know if it's God? How do I know? Uh, Tell me again. All right, sir, have you been why drinking you, why today? Why you come on TikTok? Have you been drinking today? Talk about a God that you said you don't believe in. Because if I talk to enough people who believe in God, maybe I'll believe in them. You said you don't believe in God. Yeah, but if I talk to enough people who do, maybe I'll believe in them. I'm sure you've been on TikTok for a long time. About a I'm year. To tell people there ain't no God. No, I never said God doesn't exist. Yeah, you, did. you just said. No, I said, I don't believe he exists. I'm not convinced that he exists. Now, you, you said it, but you believe he didn't. I never said he God's not real. Said, then you also said that you don't believe because of God. Yeah, I didn't say he's not real. But I just said I'm not convinced. You don't about God, but a Sir, God that you hey, don't believe in. I never said God's not real. I want to know why you fussing with people, but a God that you don't believe in. I, I never said God is not real. I said I'm not convinced that he is real. You just said it. Yeah, I, I don't believe in God because I don't have any evidence for him, but I'm not making the positive claim that he's not real. I didn't say God's not real. I'm just saying that I have not seen evidence to, to believe in God. Would you like to give me some evidence for God? I don't think I asked you. If you don't believe in God, why are you on here fussing about it? I've already answered that question like a dozen no, times. You no, you okay, you let, me, let me answer no it again. God. Let me answer it again. You said there is no God. No, I did not say there's no God. You did say that. No, I did not. You said there, it's possible. A, another guess, and then you saying that you don't believe in God. It's possible that there is a God. It. It's possible that there oh, is a God. It's possible. Huh? Now it's possible, right? I never said your God doesn't exist. I just said I don't. I don't you believe he a, does. You, you said it to a guess. No, I did not, guys. Put a you, one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if I if I never said that God does not exist. I put a number one in the, the chat. chat a bunch of I never said God, God does not like exist. You. See, I see all the ones. You, if you believe, see, God, see, why sir, are you going here fussing about it? Uh, I'll answer this for the last time, okay? No, I, I, I I'm not. It over and over. If you don't believe right. in God, why do you get on TikTok and fuss about it? If okay, you don't let believe me, in God. Okay, let me let me answer, okay? The the reason I get on here and talk to people that don't believe in God, even though I don't believe in God, is because if I maybe if I talk to enough people who do believe in God, maybe I will get some answers to some truth and actually be convinced that God is real. That's why I'm doing this. No, you just no you are just messing with people. Or you just said that I want to see him. That's what you just told me right ago. If somebody, if he slaps me, I want to see him. It could no. be a ghost. I you said, how do I know? Ghost. Yeah. How do I yeah, know if it's a ghost? It could be a ghost. So I'll give you kind of look a little more. If you slap me down, would you yeah, like it? You said, no, like, I'm if I feel, I want to see him. If I feel a slap on him. I ain't wasting my time with you. Hey. All right. If you come close to God, you have a good day. Yeah, run away. Run away. 
Run away, you little scaredy cat. Go ahead and run away, you little scaredy cat. <laughs> Are you still there? Are you still crying? No, no don't get you. <laughs> I can still see you. No, I fooled you, didn't you? Now, if I get, if I feel a slap no, on my I face, you, if I feel a slap on my face, how do no, I know it's God? Why are you fussing about it? I already answered this, sir. No, you didn't. Oh, 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 yeah, I did. Because you said there wasn't no God. If you said no, I said no I, God, I don't believe in God. Okay, you just say you don't believe in God. Yeah. Why do you come on here for? How, dude, how drunk are you? On TikTok. How drunk are you? I've answered this like a dozen times. I'm going to say how stupid are you when I ask my question. How many continents are there? Oh. How you many continents are this. there? One more time. How many continents are there? You say you don't know. How many continents are there? 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 Can you answer, can you? Come on, smart guy. How many continents are there? Can you Come on now. How many continents are there, sir? I know the devil could put something in your head. He could tell you something. Come on. Dude, how drunk are you? Come on, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. What? What do you want me to do? You don't believe in God, but you want to fuss about it. Yeah, so what? What are you going to do about it? Come on. What are you going to do about it? I want to know why. Uh, because I want to. Now what? Because you want to. Yeah, because I want to. Now what? <laughs> well, I think I got you. Next question. Next question. I got you. Okay. Lee, are you going to leave now? I got you, didn't I? Yeah, you got me. How many beers have you had? I don't drink beer. Why are you such a snowflake? How many drugs do you Why are you such a soft snowflake, sir? Hi. Why are you such a soft, soft little you snowflake? Don't God. Why are you fussing about it? Because I want to. Next question. Why? Because I want to. Next question. Why? Because I want to. Next question. Why? How many continents are there? You're supposed to believe in God. Why? How many, how many, how many books are in the Bible? You didn't believe in God. Why? How many books? How many books are in the Bible? This guy is so triggered right now. (laughs) He's triggered right now. (laughs) Hey, hey, go subscribe to my YouTube. Here you are, getting on TikTok, saying you don't believe in God, but you want to fuss about it. And that that has your, that has your panties in a, in a a real big wad, doesn't it? You are. That's got your panties in a big twist on it. Panties? Your panties are in a big old twist right now. <laughs> Is that all you got? So, hey, go subscribe to my YouTube so you Is can watch the full live stream. No, I got more. I don't think you have. How many, how many books are in the Bible? Smart guy. How many continents are there? Smart guy. I wish you tell me an answer. Huh? Why are you fussing about God for it? Because I want to. Next question. Nothing to why. Because I want to. Why? Next, next question. Why you, you don't believe in God. Why you want to fuss about it? Because I want to. Next question. Huh? Come on. He just wants to cry, guys. There's a little violin for you. Cry. There's a little violin for you, sir. <laughs> Little violin for you, little crybaby. <laughs> that dude was so triggered. Why are you fussing about God? Huh? I want to tell you something. Why are you fussing about God? Huh? Is that all you got? That's all you got? Why you don't even believe in God? Why are you fussing about God? Huh? Huh? What's all that fussing you're doing about God? Why are you fussing? Huh? Huh? Why are you fussing about God? <laughs> that guy was so triggered, man. <laughs> Why are you fussing about God? Huh? Huh? All right, guys, I'm going to end the live stream here. I'm so glad that he's not my relative.
<laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for being here. Go subscribe to my YouTube, guys, if you want to watch the full live streams. My, um, I have a bunch of my full live streams on there. I appreciate all the gifts today. Thank you for all the subscriptions today. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Um, I don't know why I'm on here flushing about God. I don't know why I'm flushing about God. Skits, why are you fussing? Quit fussing. What's all that uh, hoo hawing and fussing and, and yee haying and chitty chitty bang bang? What's what's all that hoo haw you're doing there? What is all this nonsense? All this mess? Why are you fussing? I really wished he would move past that because I really wanted to talk to him about his God. I really wanted to talk to him about his God, but he just he did not want to move past all the fussing. Too much fussing. Stay fussing, everybody. Stay fussing. <clears throat> All right, guys. See y'all later.